Hey everyone, my name's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this short tutorial, we're going to go over how to set up a subdomain on TMD hosting. So to get started with putting a subdomain name on our account here for TMD hosting, what we're going to need to do is go to our welcome email here that we got from TMD hosting, and then we'll have to click on where it says client area and enter your email and password. So after you click this client area button here, it'll open up into this page and we'll want to put in our email and password and log in. And now when we're in here, you might have some prompts come up. We can just ignore that for now. And I'm going to go and scroll down here and I'm going to find the correct cPanel login and I'll just click login. It should be your main account, or your primary domain on the account. So now to add the subdomain name, it's actually pretty simple. We'll just scroll down and we'll get to the domain section here and we'll look for where it says subdomains. A side note, if you wanted to add on another domain name from a different provider, let's say you bought the domain name at godaddy.com, you would need to change the name servers and put it here as an add-on domain name. But since we're doing a subdomain name, we're going to be using this tab here. We'll click on subdomain name. And I'll just scroll down to a domain that I would want one on, and I'll just decide what my subdomain name is. Let's say I wanted to name it blog, and then if you click out of it down here somewhere, it will come up with the root document here for this, and it will be blog.tomswptutorials.com in this case, and I'll just click create. And now it says it has been created. Now if you wanted to, you can go back here and go to this cPanel again. And if you wanted to install something like WordPress, you could simply go down here to the bottom and install it right through here on this script here. And I'll just go through that process really quick for you just to show you how it's done. If you do that and click install now, I would delete this here and I would just have it be blog.tomswptutorials.com just like that and then you can change the admin username and password whatever you would like to do there and then at the bottom you just want to click install and that's how you would install WordPress on your subdomain name that you just created and the whole process only takes a few minutes to do so it's a quick and easy way to get another website up that you can use to practice or use to maybe build out a client's website and then you could be able to show them in real time what it looks like which I love to do for people and I like to get edits in real time before I move it over onto their primary domain name and I highly suggest that you check that out and if you're interested in more WordPress tutorials feel free to subscribe to my channel and I'll be releasing more videos soon and I'll try to be releasing them almost every week going forward I hope this was helpful everyone thanks for viewing